Okay, first just uh, we'll go ahead and grab one of the bit bipeds. Just uh, go to utilities panel here, click biped, just drag and click. This is basically what you have in your uh, character on the what you call it. Basically this one, pretty much. So let's go ahead and orbit to him. And we'll just quickly go through this. Basically, that's all it is. It's just your, you got to try to picture the Terminator not there, and then you have your guy uh, that you can play with, animate and stuff, just like, you know, just grab, just kind of kind of like uh, common sense, just like you've been doing. It just kind of grab the hand, move it around, you know, certain things you, you don't really need to move because uh, it'll just mess, mess them up. You just got to see how they work, you know, see how they work and you'll notice like the kind of arm, arms kind of move, neck moves a little bit if you grab one of the spines, you know, just, uh, you know, like that. So you've got to be careful. Some things you just don't want to move and other things to make certain things move, you want to move. Like, you know, they grab the lower spine if you want to rotate the back instead of like one of the middle ones, unless you want to do, you grab one of the middle ones if you want to do like a sharp bend up top or something like that, a uh, sharp bend down like that. Uh, and the legs, of course, you know, use your move tool to bend them. If you want to move them like that, you could just grab the foot same way you would, the same way you do the hand, and you can rotate them, you know, all different directions. If you grab the, you see how the thing kind of lights up, rather than just one little thing, you can grab the whole square like here. When you grab, if you grab this thing just the right way, you'll be able to pull it around to where, you know, you can move it in all different directions all at once, like that. Back and forth, up and down and stuff, so, you know, so just uh, learn learn how to do all that, you know, it just makes it much easier to animate sometimes. And, okay, anyways, let's go ahead, we have our biped. We're going to go to this panel right here. You have to have something selected on the biped. Basically, anything, any part of him. You go to the wheel one that's up here in the corner. And then you just want to click on this one right here. This is a little like a car looking symbol. Just click it. And then click mixer. Okay, this is going to bring up your mixer. Okay, this might get a little tricky how you do this. But you ha it's better to do it this way because you can do a lot more stuff with it. You can tweak everything. Okay, so just right click on this top part right here. Just right click it and click convert to uh, transition track. This way you can add more than one clip if you want to, which is pretty neat to do. Here, let me move the biped up and we'll move it back a little bit like, just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna once we convert it to a transition track, I'm just gonna right click on it, click go to new clips from files. You need to browse to any one of the files that you have. I'll just grab one in the fight folder. Or I'll do grenade, I guess. Click OK, open, and that's pretty much it. Now you'll notice if you move the time slider, he see how he. He'll, he'll uh, do the motion that you want, but you can't just close this um, if you if you want to like make this work to after you close the mixer to where it stays the animation stays with them. There's a something you have to do. But first, let's go ahead and zoom extent on this, which is this one right here. It makes it so the track fits all in the one view. Now, say we want to like add something after this. Say this is one cool animation, but we want to add a track after this. So let's go ahead and right click. Let's grab this. Right click on the track, blank track somewhere. Go to new clips from files. And let's see, we'll do gun dive, I guess, right after it. Okay, so automatically what it's going to do here, let's click the zoom and dense button so everything fits. Okay, what it, it creates a transition, basically just like a video in a video. Uh, it goes from grenade, then it transitions into the gun dive. It's best. It doesn't always work perfect for you know mixing up things, but sometimes it does pretty decent. Sometimes you may get funky uh, motions and stuff with it. All right.
uh, the click this button to see how I have originally I had 100 frames here uh, my clips wind up being longer than that so if that happens just click the little stopwatch here and it will automatically adjust your timeline to the length of the new clips that you added okay so here see he throws the grenade and then he does his gun dive see it just basically transitions the motions into each other so it goes from the gun dive here there's the grenade and it transitions into the gun dive which is you know that's freaking wicked okay so basically you have that uh, now all we have to do is make this embedded into the biped so we can close this if we want say we're all done adding motion so up here in this top line right here the black track here as you can see not this one but this one right here right click in it and then click compute mix down just click OK on the next thing and what it's going to do is create a mix down which will be right under if you scroll down you'll see a mix down you want to right one this kind of converts it all into one track now you're gonna right click on that and you're gonna click copy to biped now this data is permanently copied to the biped so now you can close the mixer shut off this button and you will notice that he actually does what you wanted him to do. Throws the grenade and gets hit and then goes to a gun dive. That's basically it. That's how you import motion capture data.